Oh, y'all have come to the right place. It's game six between the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors. Oh, he died Kevin that Durant. suit. He died it. And the Warriors try to the say what? He just died it. <laughs> I think he's got more than one. I don't think so. Well, that's the first time we had a, that question. The inseparable James Harden and T.J. Tucker again arriving oh. along with Draymond Green. And little Draymond. He did not name this kid Draymond, I hope. There's a guy who has had a series, <laughs> Eric Gordon. He's been fantastic. Yes, he has. He'll be in the starting lineup tonight with Chris Paul out there. Steph Curry, the Warriors, in a must-win situation in front of the home folks here at Oracle Arena. Game six of the Western Finals on TNT. Welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Okay, so here's what we know. Andre Iguodala will not play again for Golden State. Chris Paul will not play for the Houston Rockets. How is that going to affect what Houston wants to do as they try to clinch this series here on the road? Let's hear from both of our courtside reporters, starting with Kristen Ledlow, who's covering the Rockets. Kristen, what you got? Ernie, the last time that we saw Chris Paul was limping to the locker room after that Game 5 win in Houston. The Rocket staff at the time was not ready to determine the severity of the injury, but they were able to confirm that it was a right hamstring strain. He began receiving treatment immediately and ultimately was reevaluated yesterday and ruled out for this Game 6. I did speak with Chris Paul yesterday, and he's hopeful to return to the court this postseason. He's going to continue receiving treatment daily, and he will be reevaluated yet again once the team returns to Houston. Coach D'Antoni and James Harden addressed the media yesterday and specifically what game six will look like without Chris Paul. Well, I mean, it obviously is not something that we wanted or, you know, I hate it for him above all. Um, he's practically won us the last two games. But great opportunity for other guys and we have plenty to choose from and we'll be ready. Business as usual. You know, guys got to step up and make plays. Uh, Obviously, Chris, Chris has been playing extremely well. You know, hopefully, you know, a speedy recovery, which I know will happen. Um, an opportunity, like, like all year long, for guys to step up and uh, take advantage of an uh, unbelievable opportunity. Coach D'Antoni has named the reigning sixth man of the year, Eric Gordon, his starter in Chris Paul's place. Eric also addressed the media yesterday and said he'd continue to attack, he'd take what the defense gives him, and he'd be ready to get this game six win. For more on the Warriors, our Hall of Famer David Aldridge is standing by. DA? Well, Kristen, the news on Andre Iguodala, as Ernie mentioned, he's out for game six. That bone bruise is getting better, but the nature of bone bruises is that until they completely heal, they're very, very difficult to play with. The MRI showed no structural damage. That's not the issue. It is simply that that bone is sore, and it's difficult for Andre Iguodala to move laterally, much less burst forward. And if he can't do that, there's no point in him trying to play. Now, the Warriors did get a bit of good news with Patrick McCaw. Their young second-year guard will be in uniform tonight. Even though he's not expected to play in, in this game and probably not in this series, even if there's a game seven. Remember, he suffered that very fight, frightening fall on March 31st against the Sacramento Kings. He was carted off on a stretcher, suffered a lumbar spine contusion, and it really did impact this team very much. The nature of the fall, him being carried off, really shook this team to its core at the end of the regular season. So they're very happy to see McCaw back, even though he won't be playing. So... That bench that Golden State has has to pick up the slack with two of their key guys out. They only scored four points total in Game 5 in Houston. They have to do better to have any chance of getting this series back to Houston on Monday night. EJ? Yeah, D.A., you know, they, they, all this talk about the, uh, the Hamptons 5 lineup that they have when Iguodala is in there, but uh, the other night it was more like the Hampton Inn lineup. They I mean, they, they put guys on the floor that, you know, they had... Bell out there, Livingston, West, Cook, uh, and still again this time around, uh, they'll have to make do without Andre Iguodala. We'll get more on that in just a second, but let's talk about the Rockets without Chris Paul here. And what does that what does that do to what the Rockets want to do, Kenny? Well, I, I think it definitely hurts without question because Chris Paul has been finishing games, and um, you know that's what he was really brought in here for to finish games. But James Harden had individually. He passes to me more when Chris Ball is not in the game. They're going to probably go to the pick and roll here. As you see, James Harden 
now you have the shooter still in the corner, but you have driving lanes a little bit more. So they'll go back to more of the pick and roll instead of the isolation because you don't have two guys that can isolate. So you have to get body involved. Again, ball movement, body movement is a little bit better because of the isolation. Does it help you win games? Not all the time. So again, guys move the basketball. So freeze it here. Eric Gordon has the basketball. And instead of a straight isolation, again, Capella comes up and set it a pseudo pick and roll as it goes in. And then you figure out if he's going to get to the basket or is he going to go all the way in. You got your shooter, Ariza, way open in the corner. And these guys look to pass when they drive more than score. Again, Capella is going to be more involved. He's going to just be there as a brush screen. But again, Again, you're going to have driving lanes and then you're going to have deep corner threes if you want them because that's going to be the opportunities that you're going to have. They're not a better team without Chris Paul, but James Harden is a better player sometimes because he will pass. He, he says, I know I'm going to have it all the time now. So I think when Chris is there, a lot of times he says, well, it's my turn to score. And he doesn't get other guys involved as easily. Well, I, I disagree with that. You disagree with what part? I said a lot. All of it. You don't wow. think that uh, Chris is no, 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 I think that Chris I it was a very impressive you don't think breakdown. Chris, and he you don't think Chris is going to be hold on, missed? Hold on. No, yeah. Let me make Then you point. agree then. No. You say you agree, so you disagree with everything, and then you're going to say, uh, I want to hear it. Because Chris Paul is their closer. Mike Jantona just said it. He single-handedly won their last two games. The thing that Chris Paul does better, he makes the players around him better. James is a great player, but he don't necessarily make the players around him better. This game tonight puts tremendous pressure. James has got, at some point, he's got two chances to have an MVP signature game. He has not had that. Who you think going to win the game, Chuck? I think the Rockets are going to win. <laughs> you think the Rockets uh, 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 I do? You just, but you, but, 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 you but, but, what but, I'm but, Hold on. That's only if James Harden has a signature game. Uh, I think he's got to have one of those 50, 30 to 40 points, like a LeBron James triple-double type game if the Rockets are going to win. But let me make my point. Chris Paul's their closer. But James Harden at some point is going to have to have a signature game. He has melted down in the playoffs the last couple of years. But at some point, he's missed his last 23s. At some point, when you're the MVP, there comes a point where you have to say, we're going to win this game. He's got two games. My second point is, I think all the pressure's on Mike D'Antoni. What I mean by it is, he can't play six guys. He cannot play six guys. He's got to find some minutes. Well, there's Nene, some guys on the other side. You can't be play. You got to play these guys. Bob Mute is going to be back in the rotation. But you, but you, you might see Ryan Anderson tonight. Yes. But you got to play two, Ernie. Because think about it. This will be the if it, counting the last game, or the last three games. These guys, these games are coming every other day. And now and those 14 that, minutes and 12 minutes came in that 40 point blowout. The games. Yes, a good point, Kenny. The games that the Rockets have won. Uh, I agree with both of you guys. But Eric Gordon has been the been key special. piece. So coming off the bench, doing what he's there, when he's had the opportunity to perform like that, mean getting the ball, he's been able to do his thing. Now that he's starting, he will have more opportunity. And he has the ability, not, you know, I'm, I'm not saying he's a closer like Chris Paul, but he has the opportunity to hit big, timely shots, especially in the fourth quarter. I'm glad you brought that up because we have we pieced together three of those uh, from the wins in Game 2, Game 4, and Game 5 from Eric Gordon. This was, look, if Golden State gets a stop, they can beat in single digits without eight lot. minutes to play and he I know but he knocked that down, knocked that and, down. and and started an 11 to nothing run no, in, game, about opportunity. in game four it's a That's two-point a game big Bang. shot big shot and then in game Who's five that pass from in game five it's 92 to 91 I mean but he was already in rhythm right there and no, he's feeling it again he knows where to be knows where to go he's in rhythm so tonight check, he's got a lot of opportunities check. he's hit 15 threes in the series that's the most on the rocket side so what you said is correct Kenny uh, Shaq those games they they got him involved early, got him involved. And, he, and the house was on fire. You can't wait and give guys the ball late in the shot clock or late in the game. You got the Eric Gordon, the, the two games that he played fantastic, the Rockets won. But, so let me get, uh, you're saying that Harden has to have one of these signature games yes. in the last yes. two. Yes. But, but, but you're also saying that Chris Paul is the Rockets closer, but without him, you still like the Rockets tonight. I just think I, I'm going to take a chance tonight that James going to, have a signature game. He is not earning. It's all on James. At some point, he's going to win the MVP. He deserves the MVP. But he has not had the two, two games, the last two games the Rocket won, it was Eric Garden and Chris Paul. At some point, when you're the MVP, you got to say, guys, we're going to win this game tonight. 
And that and, and, and listen, well, Harden, I mean, Harden did have 30 in game five. Yeah, but he had all those in the first half. I mean, in game four. Yeah, when but, they, but, when but I'm saying he had game. all those in the first half. And the no. last, and he, when they needed those points in the second half, that's when Chris Paul and Eric Gordon came on. That game he had 30, he had 26 at halftime. In order for the Rockets to win, everybody's going to have to step up tonight. Not just Eric Gordon and James, but P.J. Tucker had a great game one game. He's going to have to play. Mabude Mabude looks terrified out there. He's going to have to step his game up. And <laughs> I, I agree with you. I wasn't even, well, I'm I'm even aware that he know. existed. Listen, <laughs> the way he's playing now, I don't I deserve to know this guy. You know what I'm saying? Bob Everybody has to step up. Bob Clint Capella got to be big tonight also. Well, he got to get the ball, Chuck. Well, that's that's they, what James got to get okay, a triple cool. double. Well, well, he will right. get the ball, and that's what I was saying in the, in the video, Chuck, because they're going to run. They can't run isolation basketball with one guy. We need to we need to take a break, and then we're going to come back and talk about the Golden State side of things as they trailed the series three games to two. Uh, Chuck took Warriors in three. Now he's taking the Rockets in game six. Yep. Yes, Rick. Get you're him, hearing Rick. correctly. You are been Watch, you've been watching uh, like a hawk in the course of this series. This is all true. Draymond Green. But did you ever warm up with headphones on, Shaq? No. No. no, no, no. no. I mean, you can't play with them, so why would you shoot with them? Well, they didn't have, they didn't have Bluetooth when we played.